Fellas, so we're doing the advantage drill. Everyone listen, listen to me, look at me, okay? Coach is right here, we got a guy on offense, guy on defense, we don't have sticks. Okay, we're gonna use the offensive guy, he's gonna use coach's stick. We're gonna pretend like there's a crease here, all right? The guy on offense is about a yard, a yard and a half in front of you, okay? As, a, as the offensive guy, all your job is, pretend like you have the ball and drive up like you're trying to get top side, okay? On defense, like I said, we're about a yard, yard and a half behind. Move closer to me. Right here. Once the whistle blows, we're gonna cut through the crease, right? So we're gonna gain our advantage, how? Cutting through the crease. You're gonna have to do that every time you play one-on-one -on -one defense. If you don't use your angles around the crease, you're not gonna be able to cover anyone. End of story, right? So he's close to me, coach is close to me. Whistle blows. We wanna engage the ball carrier about a yard to two yards below goal line. Always, okay? Do you guys know why we wanna do that? The reason is, whether you guys know or not, if we engage at goal line, naturally we're gonna to have to withstand a little bit of his contact, right? So if I engage that goal line, I'm withstanding, where does he get to? A very dangerous place, right? Right in front of the goal and he can shoot and score. So the idea here is we're gonna engage about a yard, yard and a half, two yards below goal line, right on his hip, okay? We're in an athletic position just like we are every single time we're on the field playing defense, right? Once we engage, we're withstanding a little bit and we're driving him out just along this kind of half moon, okay? Stay with me here, coach. We drive him out, we're closing, we're closing the gate with this outside foot, okay, fellas? Closing the gate here. The offensive guy will then try to inside roll and we squeeze him back, okay? So we're, then we're squeezing him back behind the cage. We're gonna go offense to defense, defense to out. We'll do a bunch on this side of the goal and then we'll do a bunch on that side of the goal. Any questions there? So if you think about it, fellas, real simply, how, we're practicing playing perfect defense, okay? That's exactly what we're doing. We're close enough here where we're not beat behind the cage, right? It's like you were playing good. You didn't get lost behind the cage. We're close enough. We engage. We start to drive towards the sideline. We close the gate. He tries the inside roll. Then we squeeze it and take away his angle. Any questions there? Do it. Here we go. Here we go. Who's up for, first on O, first on D? Offensive guy, this is key. Help your buddies out. All you're doing is this. Trying to get here, trying to get top side. D, make contact, make contact before goal line. Yes, once he does his job, listen up. Once he does his job and turns you, try to inside roll, okay? Your job's not over once you close the gate. You gotta squeeze. Ready, go. Perfect. Beautiful. Could be a little bit lower, but beautiful. Good job not closing the gate 10 yards out, right? You kind of waited for him a little bit, right? He's not a threat out there. That's when we close the gate because if he's here, that's a good shot. The wider he is, he comes out here, this isn't a threat, okay? So if you get into him early and he's not, get, he's not doing a good job getting north-south up the field, don't worry about trying to close the gate 10, 12 yards out, because now you're creating offense. Now you're creating offense in. Go. All right, all right. Not bad, not bad. A little bit lower. You're up here a little bit, right? A little bit lower. Get on his hips. Get on his hips. Go. Good. Hey, real quick. Nope. Don't want to, want to maintain contact. When we're this close to the cage here, we want to maintain contact, all right? When he's up at this half moon, we can't be doing this. We can't be doing this, why not? Right? Every time we push him, he can now attack us again, all right? This is a danger zone right here. This is, this is the island, right? This is the area where he can score. We can't afford to lose contact with, of him, right? Every time we lose contact, 
a good offensive player, right? Get off contact, get into me, push me off. We'll take a step away and drive through, all right? When we're this close to the goal, right, kind of this area, this red zone right here, got to maintain contact. We're not pushing, all right? Next one. Go. Good. Maintain contact. Good. Keep him back a little bit if you can. Keep him back. Go. Good. Go. Good. Whistle, 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 go. Hey, on L, fight to that top side. I don't think he closed it. You didn't close it, right? Get that foot here. Get that foot, close it. Swing that leg. Go. So he's coming this way. Your head shouldn't be here. Okay? So what you want to do, first off, you want to cut through the crease a little bit, and you still want your head up. So you, both times you kind of had your head down behind and you were driving, you are doing a good job, but you want your head up a little bit in front of him, all right? At some point, you start to believe that you're a finished product. So you look at where Paul was as a senior in college, right? He was a All right, so what I was doing there was pretty unique is you guys saw every time I drove my eyes to my what? 